Look, Holly and Moo Moo, we found a spaceship. <laughs> Do you want to go see? That would be some small aliens. Moo Moo, that's about your size. And she's scratching her butt. <laughs> you going to your ship? Okay. Enjoy your adventure. <laughs> Look, Mumu found her ship. It's just the right size for her. Oh, Holly's going too. Who are you calling crazy? Yeah, this is definitely way too small for me. The only thing it would fit is my head as a helmet. Hello, small people down there. Hello. So we're just at the front of the LTVA. This is on the other side of the road. And there's some different looking sculptures. Showed you this um, UFO. There's a pink elephant up towards the front. And then there is, I think, an elk on the top of the hillside. We came up to one of the high points. And as you can see, that's all the LTVA right there. All the little rigs down there. Did they? Oh, oh yeah. John. <laughs> Mumu, you enjoying the adventure? Huh? Guess we gotta go back down the way we came. It's so windy up here. We do get a great view from up here. You can almost see everything. Oh, Lord. Sorry, <laughs> Center. Yeah. Look, there's a donkey up high. We followed a trail that comes out here to the hills, but it dead ends here, so we stopped here. Look, Moo Moo. There's a donkey up on that ridge right there. <laughs> That's the first donkey I've seen. I mean, I've seen him when I went to the town, but just out here riding around, this is the first one I've ever seen. That's pretty cool. I've seen mountain goats before, but never a donkey out in the wild.
go, don't break. You gotta go. Let it go. The water had gone back down, but I guess they released more water. Look, there's no beach over here anymore. It's right at the vehicles. And we barely have any beach left over here. Yeah, it's all the way to the vehicles up there. So Bruce made it here, and um, Jason and Jennifer are visiting. They made it back from tech, or Tennessee. John's got his flat top on, and we're gonna make nachos tonight. Just cooking up the meat now. Mmm, nachos. It's nachos, Mimu. It's all mine. Mine, all mine. She's like, oh, I'm gonna get some if you drop any on the floor. All right, we have fried corn, the ground beef. We just cut up some onions. We're gonna saute the onions. Might need a little oil. Oil? Yeah. What the hell is that Rambo knife he's using, huh? <laughs> that is a very big knife. Sometimes size doesn't matter. What are you doing, Lucky? Huh? Are you patiently waiting? <laughs> okay, everything is ready. We got the sour cream, the cheese. I'm gonna use the blue corn organic tortilla rounds. And these are the spices that we use. It's the garlic, chili, onion, black pepper, and oregano. And all the fixings are done. There's the tomatoes, sauteed onions, the hamburger meat, and the corn. Oh yeah, I almost forgot something. Oh, there's the girls. Hey! <laughs> that was Candy and Susan. So I've got the green onions and spinach and arugula that's gonna go in it too. I gotta chop it up. Chop it up fine. Okay, greens all chopped up. Everything's ready, all we have to do is assemble. All right, there's the finished product. Got corn chips and it all stacked nice and neatly. Time to dig in. Yummy. So today we're gonna go for a walk, or actually we've already started. We're hiking up to the bridge up there. We're gonna check out the water. It's really pretty over there. We've already done it a couple times. Yeah, but remember when I got here, like, we gotta do this every day. Every day. Or I told Jimmy that, and then this is my first time I've been here for what? Four, four days? Yeah. <laughs> I've only seen him once since then. <laughs> I know, we are kind of spread out. Yeah, we're kind of spread out. Well, now Honestly, I've, parked... I've been lazy. I've been staying in the bus. Yeah. I parked by you guys. Yes. Yes, you moved down to the um, west side. West side? West side! West side. That's it? Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's like some, um, Vulcan stuff. Vulcan? Yeah, it looks Vulcan. I'm from Chicago. <laughs> hey, Zozo! Come on, Mumu, come on. It's supposed to get pretty warm today. I think it's going to be in the 80s, lower 80s. It's, it already feels warm. I got that at the I don't know how much. I got bison, drawn bison for $2.99. But it was about to go out of date, so I already stuck it in the freezer.
Alle. So this area that we're walking in, there's definitely camp spots here. Here's a fire pit. This is where we are over here. It's a beautiful view. And there's more camping at the end of this kind of peninsula here. Well, actually, there's camping all throughout here. It's a wonderful spot. Okay, I'm getting left behind. Are you enjoying the view there? I'm always there. Yes, I like a bit, the little school bus in the middle of nowhere. Uh huh. You're walking so fast you could sit down and take a break. I took a nap. <laughs> Donkey trail, donkey trail. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we made it to the nature's preserve. It seems like they're doing work down there, so we're not gonna go down there. And I don't know if it's actually a nature preserve, but it does remind me of one. It's very beautiful down there. Got palm trees and the water snakes back and forth with all the reeds and plant life. It definitely looks much prettier down there. And on this side is the reservoir, and we're camped in that cove in there. We came up to this mountainside. They're looking for a donkey trail to follow. That does not look very secure, like it wants to fall on us. Not sure if you can see that, but we just saw Chuck and Holly. Jimmy's with them too. I think they did end up climbing up that mountain following a supposed donkey trail. Way, way up there. They're right there. Well, we made it back to the lovely, lovely camping spot. Home sweet home. I've got some projects to do today. Look, the water's gone back down. You can actually walk around this bush again. There was Jake. Go, move, go. Go, go. Not in the water, silly. People out and about. Yes, it's me. How are you? What hey, I'm Pumpkin. With the beep, beep, beep. What are you doing? Five, I gave him 85. Lucky. Um, for but, uh, well, Quark. I call him up and I'm like, Eating no, grass I'm or something. And, you know, I told her, hey, Quark. I told well, I know I said I had to work on projects, but I got a new laptop. This would be my third laptop that I've had while on the road. I started with an older one and then um, I bought a new one and it's gone to crap. I have to get it fixed, but... So we got another laptop. The company that makes this laptop is an MSI. We did purchase this one and it was a little over $3,000. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it now. I'm glad to... This is a much faster laptop than I originally had. And... It's going to do much better for video editing. It does have a SSD in it, 2 terabytes. It has 32 gigabytes of RAM and the best video card that you could get on the market. Which is important when you're video editing because video editing actually requires a lot of pr processing. Oh, this is beautiful. It's just the box. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, let's see. Okay, the laptop comes in a box itself, and then there's the power supply. This is actually thinner than I thought it would be, for as powerful as it is. So, here it is right here. I think that's actually upside down, it's like this. It's got a film that protects it. Let's open it up. 
Oh, nice. Nice screen protector. Awesome. This one has the Intel Core i7, which is an 8 core. And it is the 10th generation. And the graphics card is the GeForce RTX. So here's some more specs about the computer. It does have a fingerprint reader. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So the display here is a true pixel. It is 4K. I'm going to go ahead and set it up. I just turned it on now. I still have to set everything up. I think I pressed power. Or maybe I have to plug it in. Yeah, because nothing's happening. Yeah, okay. Let me get the power supply out. Okay, so here is the box for the power supply. Let's see what the power supply requirements are. Well, it's hard to see. So this is a hundred volts. So it's 3.2 amps. And on 20 volts it uses, so this is a 20 volt laptop, not a 19. And it uses 11.5 amps on 20 volts. There's the specs on that. I did order in a DC universal plug. And it should be coming into Quartzsite, so by the time I head up to Lake Havasu, I can pick that up. And I believe I can actually use it on that, because it does have 20 volts uh, setting on it. Since it's universal, you can select the voltage. So I'll be able to use that. I like to use the DC instead of the 110. Plastic around, but I don't see any light. Yeah, it doesn't have a light. Hmm. Not sure if I like that. I like to usually know if the brick is on. Hmm. So there's the indicator light letting me know that it's charging. And like I said, this is made by MSI. This is their creator edition. And this is the top of the line one. Does have an SD slot and two USB-Cs. But the only thing I don't like about it, it only has one USB where my other laptop had three USBs for transferring files and stuff because I used one for my mouse, because I like to use the mouse when doing projects and stuff and working, because it makes the job easier. So I'd have to plug in my mouse there, which leaves me no room for any other USB items, which is unfortunate, like I said, for transferring files if you're using more than one USB device. So that's one thing that I don't like about the computer, but I think I'm gonna like everything else. It's, it is a really, really nice computer and super fast. So the processor and the graphics card in this is state-of-the-art. It's the newest and most fastest. They These here look like they are USB ports, but they're actually vents for that since it's such a thin or small built machine. And there's more vents on this side, which also look like USB ports. So there's the other USB-C and this is HDMI. The audio for this is right here. This is headphones. It's charging now, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it on. Press the power button. I like the lighted screen. My other computer did not have, sorry, a lighted keyboard. Makes it easier when you're working in low light situations. Guess that's the MSI logo. It's cutting on now. It usually takes longer to cut on during the initial boot. And I'm going to have to go ahead and set everything up and put my account in here. So I'll have to get back to you once I'm done with that. Oh, also I have to load the video editor program into this. English, oh yeah, not touchscreen. This one is not touchscreen, where my other laptop was. But honestly, I did never use the touchscreen. Rarely did I use the touchscreen. And it could fold over like a tablet, and that's when I found myself using the touchscreen, but that rarely happened. I'm working on the last thing, which is installing Pinnacle Studio 24, and then I'll be able to edit on this laptop. This is the last thing, and then it'll be done. Yes, I've definitely been working on it all day, and it is a process, but I'm glad it's almost done. It's on its last step, which is the bonus content. Anyways, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope to see you again. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there. Bye for now. Mwah.